Hello and welcome to Rando Tech Info. So today we're talking about the Huawei Mate XS. This is Huawei's second crack at a foldable device. The first uh, Huawei foldable, the X, uh, was neat but somewhat unpolished. A lot of reviewers really liked it. They liked the idea of the foldable design with the screen on the outside as opposed to the inside like found on the Galaxy Fold. But some people also did not care for it usually citing the biggest complaint being that the phone can be scratched even when it's you know quote unquote closed that there was really no good way to protect the screen and while that problem still persists on this version of the phone uh, it does seem to work a lot better in a lot of different ways the hinge mechanism seems to be better um, the phone when it's folded up the ui of the phone seems to work a little better so there's definitely some improvements to be found on this phone now before we get any further there's a couple things you need to know about this device. The first one is it's probably never going to be sold here in the U.S. That doesn't mean you can't get it and bring it over here. But as I've mentioned in videos past, that can often or even usually void the warranty. So just be aware about that. The other thing you need to understand about this device is its selling price in USD is probably going to be around $2,700. So not a cheap device. In fact, it's way more expensive than any other folding phone out on the market right now. So just a couple things to um, keep in the front of your mind if you're thinking about making this purchase and bringing the phone over here to the States. Now, as far as whether it will work on your network, uh, we're kind of seeing a repeating pattern here. Uh, for 5G, and this phone does have 5G compatibility, it only works on what's considered to be the mid-band, which in the US, the 5G mid-band is controlled by Sprint. So it should work on Sprint 5G, but it won't work on Sprint 4G, at least not very well at all, and it won't work on Sprint 3G. So you have to be really confident in your 5G coverage with Sprint if you want to use this phone uh, and bring it over here. Uh, as far as Verizon goes, Verizon's just a no-go, no 5G, no primary 4G bands, and no 3G. AT&T and T-Mobile, um, it does use their primary frequency bands, 4G frequency bands. It does not use their 5G bands, but it uses their primary 4G frequency bands. So you should get pretty good 4G reception. It won't be the best. It doesn't use all of their bands, but it uses the ones that are the most important. It also uses their 3G bands, although as I've mentioned in other recent videos, we don't know how much longer anybody's going to be supporting 3G, so... You know, we can't really consider that reliable at this point. I mean, there's no imminent plans to shut down the 3G uh, towers by any of the major carriers so far, but that can always change pretty quickly, especially as 5G coverage keeps expanding and covering more area. So that's the deal with the Huawei Mate XS. Um, it will work here in the U.S. pretty well, as long as you're okay with 4G on... Um, AT&T and T-Mobile, 5G, it will not work on those networks, but for $2,700, um, if 5G really matters to you, then you probably want to look elsewhere for your device. So, anyway, if you have any questions about the Mate XS, please put those down in the comments, or if you have any questions about any other phone, and while it will work in your part of the world, please let me know. Uh, thanks as always for watching. Hope you found the video useful. Until next time, this is Rando Tech Info, signing out.